could hop on a tiny bit and to make sure my equipment is doing what it should be doing. So I'm super excited about this. If you are on, say, hey, I wanna see who's on and where you're watching from. Okay, so today's video is about Easy PDF. Now, I want to be honest and saying that uh, there was a little bit of a technical difficulty that literally happened today. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, I was really upset about this. Um, I, when I was practicing for this, you know, to make sure that I knew which websites to put you on and how to walk you through the process, I practice. Um, I don't just kind of like wing it. I want to make sure I have notes and all that good stuff. Hey, Judy, thanks for hopping on. Um, so I'm like, you know, doing my thing practicing for this situation and um lo and behold apparently easy pdf had some type of snafu with google so currently it is not available on the play store but like i said i had no control over that i had no idea it just so happens the day i plan to do this video that easy pdf is not available on play store but i'm going to walk you through step by step of the process just to make sure that you understand how everything works and then it should be up hopefully within the next couple of days I really have no idea hey Lexa thanks for hopping on um so we're just gonna go for it and see what happens I'm gonna just walk you through the process hey Jennifer thanks for hopping on so what we're gonna do the first step is first of all the reason why I decided to do this hey Sandra the reason why I decided to do this is because when it comes to extreme cross-country stitching, there are, first of all, this may seem like a tedious process to some of you, but you have to understand, you work on one project for like two to four years. So even though it takes a couple of minutes to get back up, hey Carol, hey Catherine, um, it's okay, you, it's, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna walk you through the process as thoroughly and quickly as possible, and I'm going to talk slow. I'm really working on this, because I know a lot of people may not speak English, so I'm gonna to try to talk a little bit slower. Hey, Allison. Um, so, what's gonna happen? First of all, this is how it works. So with Bluestacks, the reason why, hey Slada, the reason why I decided to use Bluestacks is because my husband was like, hey, I don't wanna buy you an iPad or an Android tablet, why don't you just try this thing on your computer? And I was like, you know, I'd rather have an iPad or an Android tablet, but whatever, I'll give it a go. So he told me about Bluestacks. And simply what Bluestacks is, is it's a really cool app that you can get for your computer. I guess you can call it an app. Technically, it's an app. So it's an app that you can get for your PC. Um, I think you can also get it for your iPad. I believe so. But anyway, or not your iPad, your um, Mac computer. So it's for a computer device. Obviously, if you have a tablet or if you have... Um, an Android tablet or a iPad, I'm like, what is that I word? Hey, Roxanne, um, you are free to get the, get the um, easy PDF right away. You don't have to worry about going through the Bluestack step. But keep in mind also that when you have those, um, I don't know why, but easy PDF shows up differently and has different controls on each device. What I'm showing you today is the one for Android. So you can use this, like I said, you're gonna get Bluestacks, and then on Bluestacks, you're going to download Easy PDF. But I'm gonna walk you through it, my friend, so you're not like, what is this? So we're gonna start the process. Um, and I'll explain it as we go. Once we do this, I'm gonna show you a neat tip that Carol taught me about how to get access to um, your PDF file for whatever chart you're doing, and then to be able to sort without having to manually type it out. Because she saw I was manually typing out, and she's like, let me help you out. So she got me this neat little tip, and I'm gonna show you. And this tip is also fine in regards to copyright. I asked someone at Heaven Earth Designs and said it was okay to use it, so I'll definitely teach it to you. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Teresita. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over to bluestacks.com, and I'm gonna show you the website. Like I said, just give me a second to make myself smaller. I don't know if I'm... Okay, that's pretty okay. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to bluestacks.com. As you can see, it's www.bluestacks.com. And I would type it in right now, but I kinda can't. So, bluestacks.com, I have everything I need pulled up already to make it easier. Once you get to this, you can see it's kinda like has games and all this stuff, yada, yada, yada. 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna press download. So you're gonna click right here and it says download blue stacks. Let me make sure this is showing on the screen. Okay, I realize what I see in my video and what you see is a little bit different, so struggle is real. Hey Shelly, what you're gonna do is click on download blue stacks and it's going to come here and then it's gonna download. You have chosen to open blah, 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 blah. Just save the file, move on. Um, I'm not gonna walk you through this part because I already have blue stacks on here and I'm not gonna be downloading it like a million times. So, hey Rachel, you just need to download blue stacks right there. So once it's downloaded, you're going to open up blue stacks and this is what it looks like right here. If you see this icon down here, maybe you can't see it. I can't see on my video if you can see it or not. Okay, you won't be able to see my icon, I don't think, because it only shows you the screen. But if you can't, if you could see my icon, it is like this flat, like, it's like, it's like layers. There's like a green layer, a yellow layer, a red layer, and a blue layer, or whatever. And then you just click on that, and your blue stacks pops up. All right, now I forgot one small little technical thing. I have to make sure blue stacks is loaded in here. You know, the struggle is real. Let me just make sure that... Sorry guys, I didn't check that before. Oh, here we go. All right, give me a thumbs up if you can see blue stacks on my screen now. Let me get a thumbs up, let me get a thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, I'm like, I'm gonna stop dancing now. Okay, so I don't have any thumbs up, but it is a delayed reaction based on, okay, I see a thumbs up. All right, Shelly, give me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. So, um, awesome. Here is Blue Stacks. And what it, you're going to do, like I said, unfortunately, you can't do anything in regards to the Play Store right now because Easy PDF, whatever, is having a technical snafu and you can't get it through the Play Store. But for those of you who already have Easy PDF, I'm gonna show you how to walk through it. Sorry guys, not my fault, I promise, I didn't do anything. So, um, I have Easy PDF Pro. Apparently there was a sale recently and you could get it for free or whatever. I think now it's like $1.99, but they also have a trial version, which is what I used for a while, and then I just switched over to the Pro version because I actually liked it. So, what's gonna happen is, you're probably asking, how in the world, hey Anastasia, hey Mariah, you're probably asking, how in the world do I get my cross-stitch stuff over to where I need to get it in the app. So the first step, once you downloaded the blue stacks, you need to come back over to your browser and then you're going to go, hold on, let me check my notes real quick. Actually, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and upload your charts to Google Drive. So it's super easy to do that. I have already done it really. Let me see if this is gonna let me do it on here. Oh, hold on. I forgot how to change screens again. Give me a second. All right, so we're back on Firefox. You wanna make sure that your stuff is in Google Drive. Now, the reason why you wanna do this is because Google Drive is going to secure all of your cross-stitch your cross -stitch stuff, which is important. Obviously, you don't wanna be having like your hard drive, your hard drive crash and then you don't have any you don't have any charts, right? So the the great thing about Google Drive is you can put all of your charts on there and then you're good to go. So it's easy to everyone has a Google Drive if you have a Gmail account. Um Sandra, can you use Dropbox? Yes, I believe you can. I would show you that, but I don't have a Dropbox, but I might be able to show you anyway. Um it's a very simple idea. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into my Google Drive. Maybe not. I don't know why it's doing this. Oh, go to Google Drive. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. So any type of drive or cloud type of service, you can um, do in here. All right, is it gonna show you my password? No, that's not, okay, good. I have like a bajillion things in here, so just ignore everything. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go to Extreme Cross Stitch Video Series. Now, the great thing about this, I already uploaded my charts right here. What you're going to do is you're just gonna go to New once you have your thing up, your thing up, and then you're gonna go to File Upload. Then you're just gonna find your stuff 
and upload it pretty much that's all there is to it um you can't see me uploading my stuff because of the way the screens are but it's okay so you're just gonna press new file upload upload your stuff okay and then it's gonna appear right in this area so once it's uploaded you are free to go back into BlueStacks, which is this emulator app. And now what you're going to do, you are going to click on right here. Hold up, give me a second. Okay, you're going to click on Easy PDF once you have it downloaded. Like I said, download issue right now, but you're gonna go ahead and, no, I lied. Sorry, you're actually gonna go to Google Drive. So when you're in the Play Store, what you're gonna wanna do, like I said, you're probably gonna have to watch this video a couple times. You actually need to download the Google Drive app. And let me see if there's Dropbox on here too. Yep, you have Dropbox. So if you have Dropbox or Google Drive and all of your charts are uploaded on there, you're perfectly fine to do that. So you're gonna go to Google Drive. You're gonna type this in the Play Store. You saw in the beginning, I clicked on the Play Store and you're going to come here and you're just going to install. Obviously, you already have it installed. So, now, I'm going to pull up my Google Drive. Once Google Drive, I'm not going to do that. Let me go ahead and show you here. I'm going to click on Google Drive, that app. Once Google Drive is up, you can easily go to wherever you have your stitching charts. We are doing, maybe not you, but I'm gonna do, <laughs> this freebie pack right here. All you do is you click on it, and bada boom, bada bing. If you had any issues before, um, I mean, you shouldn't have any issues. You should be able to automatically click on it. Hold on, now it's loading. I caused myself issues. Waiting for computer. <laughs> what you're supposed to be able to do once this loads is you click on these three dots on the side and then it'll show you, give you your options for opening it up. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I ain't got time for this. Oh, maybe you can just do it here. Look at there. Okay, so you don't even have to click on it. Look, you just press on these three dots right here. Then you go open with all right, we made it. You're gonna go to open with Easy PDF Reader. All right, you're gonna click just once. Just do just once. You can click always, I guess, but my husband told me to click just once. I don't know if he has a reason, but there you go. Click just once, and then it should open right up. Ignore this little thing down here. Maybe it's not gonna open up because I already had it open. Another thingy. Thanks, Judy. I appreciate your encouragement. All right, I lied. It's because I already had it open up. Now we're gonna do it again. So you also have to understand with the system, it is like a system within a system. So you're using an emulator and then you're using the emulator, which also has a bunch of apps on it. So there may be some lag time. And if there is, it's okay. You know, this is a lot cheaper than spending $700 on an iPad, especially if you don't have that money and if you don't want to do that, or an Android tablet. I don't even know if they're $700. Are they like 1000 now? I don't know. Okay, it's giving me issues right now. Okay, I can just show you again, maybe. All right, I'm going to show you again. Whoops. Mm -mm, did not mean to do that. Okay, we're going to try it again. For those of you who need it <laughs> drive once you're in drive go right here to extreme well for me i go there then you click on whatever chart you want to upload into your easy pdf click right here then you're going to go to open with then it's going to give you your options you're going to open with easy pdf reader just once Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so now this is opened in Easy PDF. Yay, I did it. Okay, so this is your chart. I mean, everything is here. I'm not gonna talk about highlighting yet because there's one more step. As you, can, as you know, with extreme cross-country stitching, what I do is I stitch one color at a time throughout the whole 
chart, right? So you're probably wondering how in the world do you know like what stitches to do? How do you decide which color to do first? I'm going to show you and like I said, this is a tip from Carol. I can't take any any credit for this. She helped sister out. Hey Heather, thanks for hopping on. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to show you another neat tool. You guys are learning some computer stuff today. So if you were computer illiterate before this, I'm helping a sister or a brother out, okay? So we're going to come over here. Hold on, I got to change my thing again. All right, so now we are at this small PDF site. Where you go, and I'll post all these links to make sure that you have them, you go to smallpdf.com and then pretty much this is it. But this is the exact link. It says PDF-2-Excel, whatever. Um, That's pretty much it. So you're going to go right here to this website. This website is going to help you with sorting your program. Not your program, your, uh, your chart, the different floss colors. So what you're going to do is you just click right here where it says drop PDF here or choose file. You can just click there or you can drag your PDF of your cross stitch chart right here. So you're just gonna choose the file and then it's gonna ask you for your stuff and then you click the file and then it just pops up in there and then give it a second and it's going to turn your PDF chart into an Excel file. And I'm gonna show you exactly why this is important. I did not check this part in regards to making sure you can see it but I'm gonna wing it right quick. And I'm gonna hope that this will come up. If not, then I will have to do a different video about this part which is totally fine. Because with technology, you have to be flexible. All right, let's see if it will do my Excel. Not Excel, but whatever. Um, yes. Sweet. Today is my lucky day, friend. Today is a great day. Yes, Judy, I love Excel. Right now, I'm currently using a knockoff version of Excel. Um, by that, I mean it's a free version called LibreOffice. It's similar to Excel, but it's a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how I do this with the sorting. And okay. So now you see when this is the file that it pulled up. So it turned my PDF into an Excel file, which is pretty neat. So you see all this stuff and it looks kind of like stuff you can't really read and yada yada. Like it's technically the chart, but put it in Excel. You don't do anything with this other stuff. What you're going to do is for me, it started on table five and table six and table seven table that's pretty much it table five six and seven okay so if you look at this you see it says DMC it has a number and it has you know how much how many stitches it has so an example if you were like Portia how in the world do I read this it's like this you see 168 let me pull this over to make sure you can see it so you'll see 168 DMC color 168 has 1482 stitches DMC 169 has 5,771 stitches. So the goal here is you want to be able to use this information to figure out what in the world, how you're going to deal with which color to stitch first. Okay. So what you're going to do now, like I said, I literally got this information from Carol and I just tried it out today. So you can actually delete this other information. So if you look at the bottom here, let me see if it'll make my screen small enough. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, if you could see this, what you do is you're actually going to delete the rest of this. So you can see like table 18 and all these other tables you don't really need. So you're going to press, hey, Laura, um, the shift button. And then you're just going to press on like, hold on, I can't see because of my phone. You're going to press, click on the highest table number here. And then you're going to right click. And then you're going to delete those tables because you don't need them. Where is the delete button? Oh, delete sheet. You're going to click on delete sheet. And the reason why you're doing this is just so you can clean up your situation here to make it a lot easier because it's annoying to have all this. Okay, let's see if it works. Give me a second. Really give my computer a second to think. Gotta love live video, right? Okay, is it not gonna let me? It's giving me issues. <sighs> if you have Excel, 
this is a definitely better it's a better option than this because this is not doing what I want to do right now okay so let me try one more time to delete the table or delete these sheets all right now we are making progress maybe okay once it's done with this, I'm probably not going to delete the rest of the tables because it's taking a while. Like I said, LibreOffice, mm -mm, it's free. You get what you pay for, right? The truth. Okay, it's being slow. So what you want to do is eventually you're going to sort this information, which I'm trying to show you, but now it's not responding. And Okay, yeah, I'm going to move on with my life. So what I'm going to do is, you have all this information, you really don't need all this. So you could probably just clean up all this. Uh, column. Woo! Okay, so I deleted all of that. And you saw how I did that. Now I'm going to come to table 6. You have all this stuff, you just highlight all of it because you don't need any of this. And by the way, can I just say, this estimates how much of a skein you need, or skein or skein, I don't know how to say it. So like for this color, you need 0.422 parts of a skein or whatever. Skein, if somebody can pronounce that for me, that'd be great. Clearly I don't do English. So just keep that in mind, this helps you figure out. Like this one needs over two, over three, um, I'll say bobbins, three bobbins of floss, okay? So, you're going to delete all this stuff too. Okay, why is it changing things up? Hold up. Alright, delete, and then delete entire columns. And then end table 7. This is the last bit. You're going to delete this stuff too. Alright, now we're cooking, friend. What we're going to do now... You can actually delete this too, because this is kind of, you don't really need this. You need to know what's the DNC number, and you can even change that to say DNC, and then it's going to tell you how many full stitches you need. But I'm about to delete this right here. Delete. Delete entire column. All right. I'll go back right here. Delete this, because it's not important. And you're actually about to copy and paste this information. In about two seconds. Bless you. My husband just sneezed. All right, it's not letting me. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that right now. So what we're gonna do, guys? The moral of the story is: when things don't go your way, keep trucking along. Never give up. Okay? Technology is a pain sometimes. So. You're going to come back here, and so what you're going to do is you're just going to actually go to table six. And you're going to copy and paste all this information. So you're going to copy it, then you're going to come back here, and you're going to paste. Okay? Awesome, Daisy. Thank you. <laughs> Hubby Kitty says, God bless you. He's not going to say anything because he doesn't want me to hear his voice on camera. Okay, so let's go to table six. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to copy and paste all this stuff. Hold on. I want to make sure I didn't. Nope, that would be good. You're actually going to go to table seven. Hey, Melinda. You're going to copy. Copy. And you're going to go back here. Yep, and then you're going to paste. And you always want to double check because you never very much know. Okay, maybe it'll let me get rid of this now. Maybe. Like, how hard is Oh, here we go. You got to go to the side. All right. Um, okay, give me a second. I don't know why this is being a pain. <laughs> Kitty, you're funny. Okay, delete entire columns again. Come on, delete. Seriously, 
You see this? It says not responding. <clears throat> when things must go wrong, they do. But it's okay. Somehow, I will survive. Come on, I'm so close to being done. And now we're having technical difficulties. Okay, guys, so, um, thank you. Okay, it's gone. Woohoo! All right, let me make sure. So, I'm supposed to have, hold on, let me delete these. I don't want to delete all that, so I don't really know what happened. Give me a second, because I feel like I'm missing some colors real quick. All right, so now we have all of this good stuff. Let me just double check. And you probably do want to double check in the chart. So I'm just going to double check in the chart real quick and see how many colors. I'm pretty sure it's not 60 something colors. So I know that I'm missing some based on my bad copy and pasting skills. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yes, Slate, I would. It's like story of my life, right? It's crazy. Okay, did I not copy and paste these? Hey Kim, so what I'm doing is I'm taking, I took my cross stitch chart that I'm working on for this this freebie, the video deal. And then, so I'm taking that cross stitch chart, I took the PDF file, I converted it into an Excel file really quickly with just um, a simple program online that you just basically upload it to. And then now I'm about to sort the floss so I know which color to do first, okay? Hopefully that's helpful. All right, so I don't have all the colors on here because of course, I probably made some a couple of mistakes with copy and pasting story of my life so I'm gonna move on so I'm gonna pretend like I have all of them so let's pretend I have all of them so what you're gonna do is you're going to highlight both of these you're going to go to sort data uh, define range nope that's not it This is gonna give me problems too. Hold on, cause this is not what I want to do. Okay, here we go. Sort, what you're gonna do is you wanna sort by, let me do this first because I typically actually do it in Google Drive. Give me a second. Let me just see what it does. Okay, it did nothing. Let's try again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, it did it opposite. So... I'm going to show you the correct way now. So go to data, then sort. You're going to sort by full, and you're going to do descending. Let's see if that fixes it. Well, okay, let's try it again. <laughs> it changes it every single time. All right, progress, people, progress. Okay, so that's what I did. Um, I had full in both sections. You guys are gonna use something different. So you have to play around with the sorting. Typically, it'll say sort range or something like that, and then it'll go A to Z or something, and then you can figure it out that way. But you wanna sort by column B. Whatever B is right here, you wanna sort by this, because then it's gonna give you the most stitches. So we have 3371 that has 44,417 stitches. Crazy, right? That's a lot of stitches, but we'll survive. So 3371, that's what we have right here. And I would typically put it in an Excel file like this, or I use Google Drive for all of my stuff, which I should have did in there, but it's okay. It doesn't matter where you do it. You put your information, You. this is your document now, and so when I'm done with the color, I just highlight it, and then I put like, I can put like, um, 
end date or whatever and I just do it like this. I highlight it when I'm done with the color and what day I ended and then I do the next color with the day I ended, yada yada, okay? So that's the best way to go about that. Now we're sorted. So we know that we're starting with 3371. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back into blue stacks. Let's go back into blue stacks. Okay, give me two seconds. All right, we're back in the blue stacks now. You're gonna look at your chart. This is a chart that we chose. Uh, Catherine, the color that has the least is... Okay, this is not... <sighs> okay, let me say. Like I said before, I made a little boo-boo when I was copying and pasting, which you don't want to do. So you would double check. But since this is just a tutorial, I'm giving you the basics of how I do it. You want to go back and double check. So this is not the final. Um, what you want to do is make sure that you copied and pasted all the numbers right. For what I have right here, it says that 3371 is the most. So we're just going to pretend that it is. It may not be because as you see, I only have 66 colors because I made some boo-boos when I was copying and pasting. But... It's okay. You want to make sure you do it correctly. So we're just going to pretend that 3371 has the most. But that's the basic idea of how you want to sort your chart in order to figure out which color has the most. So now we're going to go back to our chart over here. We're going to find 3371. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. All right. Let me show you the gist of how to use Easy PDF. So once you find out what you want to do, you're going to find 3371 right here. You're going to take your mouse and you're going to basically just slide your mouse over it till it highlights. Once it highlights, what you're going to do is press search. Now, understand, because this is technology, it is not perfect. So what it comes down to, there may be a couple of symbols that match other letters on the symbols or whatever, and then it's, it will probably show a bunch of different things. But I have only come to that in so far of my 50 colors. It's only happened like maybe once or twice, but it's fine because in the end you can just kind of look through and it's no, no big deal at all. Okay, so you see this symbol shows up as a W. It's fine. That's how this reader, how this program does it. You're going to go to case sensitive because you may have another symbol that this um, program reads as an uppercase W, you know. So you want to go to case sensitive. And then you're going to start from the current page because you're not going to stitch anything before that. And you're going to press OK. Now, once you press OK, it's going to highlight all types of stuff. So we have, it shows only the pages where you have that specific symbol. As you can see down here, you don't see, let me put this up higher. You don't see the page 22, 23 because there's none on that symbol. So you're going to now go to page 9. That's the first time you have that symbol. Woo! Y'all kill me with this thing. Look. There's all this. Okay. It's a lot. So this will be literally the first page right here. And you see all these highlights are that heart shape. And that's where you will be stitching the 3371. Now, you're probably wondering, all right, how do I go about this little situation? So what you want to do now is you want to figure out how do you highlight. Let's say you're done with these stitches right here. Okay, awesome. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the top. Now, please do not click on anything, hey Belinda, but this one highlighting tool. What are you telling? I usually check both boxes and that helps with the highlighting of the W and the L and such. Okay, I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Just showing you how I do it. So what you do then, is you click on this one, this T that has the orange. Understand, both of them have orange, but this is the one you want to click on because this one kind of, I think it makes it permanent. I've tried it before and it's a hot mess. So what you want to do is you're going to click on this. Now, let me show you how to highlight and then I'm going to show you how to erase and I will also show you how to change colors. Okay, so first, how in the world do you highlight this? What you're going to do is you simply... That's pretty much it. So you just roll your mouse. You press, drag, end. Okay? So press, drag, you're done. Okay? And just be very careful because it is kind of touchy, just like a normal um, tablet would be. Okay? So once you're done with that, you're like, mm-mm, I made a mistake. So what you can do 
for the most recent highlight, hey Loretta, you can press this button right here. And this button shows you, I mean, it'll undo it. Right there. Okay, so see, it took, it took that away. Another way you can do it is you can press the back button and you can go back to this thing and, you know, this is kind of like the home screen or whatever. And all you do is you click on whatever you want to delete and you press delete. Okay, and I can do it again. Click, delete, and it erases. Delete this annotation, yes. Okay, easy peasy, right? So I showed you how to highlight, how to erase. Now, some of you are concerned in regards to, I'm almost done actually, some of you are concerned in regards to the size of the file. Yes, because this is a bajillion pages long. There's like 80 something pages, I don't know. I feel quite ridiculous for doing this piece because there's so many pages, but look, how cool, because when you get on some other pages, you know, you don't have that much stuff. Well, this one has 44,000 stitches, so it's a lot. Um, Loretta, can we do this on iPad? Loretta, you already have an iPad, so um, you don't need blue stocks, but you can definitely get Easy PDF on there. I think actually the Apple Store actually does have the Easy PDF available. The Android Store has some issues, but the Apple Store does have Easy PDF. Now, the controls and what you see on there will look a little bit different. So you're going to kind of have to play around with it, honestly. Um, so it will be a little bit different, but it's you'll be fine. Okay? So if this is helping, if you're understanding, give me some love, some likes, some, some heart, some something. So that's it in regards to the situation. There's a lot of those pages. Like, oh, my gosh. But it's okay. All right. Okay. So now... The other thing, when if you're worried about like the size of the file because it's so large, this is what you're gonna do. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't. I think it's it makes it permanent. What you can do once you're done with like a page and you know for sure for sure that like I killed that page, all my stitches are perfect. I'm a stitch diva. I got this. Then what you're gonna do is just right her. You're gonna highlight the stitch. Then you're going to go to actually no, you're not. Hold on. Let me make sure this shows up right. Okay, so Melinda, I'll go back real quick. I'll get back to the to the other thing. So what you do, Melinda, is you go to 3371. In this case, we have this right here. So it's highlighted already. I, It's fine. But what you do is you would highlight it. Let me do a different one. Hold on. Let me, okay, I'm gonna hit the X there. When you hit the X, it kind of like resets it. So don't worry about it, it's fine. So what you do, Melinda, hopefully the kids are not talking right now. You highlight, then you go search. Yes, Pamela, I'm doing this on a laptop. I do not have a tablet. That's why I'm using blue stacks, which pretends, which makes your computer as if it is an Android tablet. Okay, hope that makes sense. Um, if you're not techie, maybe not. But it's the simplest way I can put it. I'm not really techie either. I just know how to do this stuff. But anyway, and my husband showed me. So blue stacks helps your computer pretend like it's an Android tablet. So technically, you're on an Android tablet when you're on blue stacks. And you can get the Play Store. You can get other apps, whatever. Okay, so. Um, oh, I think, Catherine, you were saying you clicked this too. I guess it doesn't really matter. So you can click both of them, whatever. Definitely make sure that you click case sensitive. And then you're going to start at the current page and then bada boom, bada bing. So now your stitch that you want to work on for color number one, we're pretending it is because I really don't know. I have to redo what I did before because hot mess. So your this is all color number one. Okay, so we're going to go back and I just want to make sure I do this right for you. Okay. For some reason... Okay, I'm going to have to do a separate video on that because it's not doing what I want it to do. Anyway, what I was going to say is if you're worried about the size of what you're doing, um, you can always flatten the stitch and when you, f or sorry, not the stitch, flatten the highlight or whatever and that flattens, like compresses the file so it's a smaller file and you don't have to worry about like lag time and all that and it makes it better. Um, I'm going to show you also how to do pages side by side. Okay, so hold on. 
Sorry, I had a call come through. Okay, so yes, Loretta, I highlighted the heart up there where it had all the different um, DMC colors. I highlighted it up there because I saw that 3371 was a color I wanted to work on. Remember, I stitched from most number of stitches to least number of stitches. And for right now, based on the stuff that I did when I sorted it, it showed that 3371 was the most number of stitches. I believe it probably is. So when you do that, you just highlight the stitch and then it goes through your whole chart and it shows you. Now some of you have asked, you know, how do I delete a page or how do I do this, how do you do that? Honestly, I really don't know because I don't delete pages or do any of that. What I do is I just... I highlight my stuff. I mean, you're going to work on all 80 pages of the piece, right? So why not just keep it there? If you're worried about, like, size, you just have to figure out how to um, flatten the annotation, which is technically what it is. Uh, okay, last thing, pages side by side. This is really cool, and I'm excited about this. So what you do is you click on, let me make sure you can see this. You click on this these three little boxes right here. You're going to go to Menus. Once you see the Menus, you will see your chart here. Don't click that because the X is out of it. And you'll see all these options on the side. What are you going to do? It's always there when you have something highlighted. Oh, duh, Catherine. Thank you. <laughs> Silly me. She's right. Thanks, Catherine. See, where would I be without you guys? <clears throat> okay. You're going to, let's pretend these were highlighted and you wanted to flatten them. Thank you, girl. You helped sister out. Look, so you go ahead and you highlight it like I showed you before and you just flatten stitches. I'm not going to do it now because it makes them permanent because it's compressing it. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. But later, I would. I'm just going to delete that right quick. All right. Thank you, girl. I really appreciate you. Okay. Over here, we have. Um, hold on, let me make sure that this is still going. Okay. Okay, hey Leanne, thanks for hopping on. Okay, over here, this is what we have over here. We have this menu situation. What you're going to do, you are going to go down where it says page layout. Now, this is a really cool technique because you can get two pages beside each other. And I'm going to show you about zooming in and zooming out and all that too. So, look, it's up to you how you want to do it. You can do double page, which means side by side including the cover page or not including the cover page. So let's just do double page cover. Look, it put them side by side. How cool, right? So look, you can flip it like a book, which I think is the coolest thing ever. And then you can see your stitches this way. Obviously, you can't technically see them, but you can make it bigger. What you're going to do is you just do this pinching motion with your um, your mouse pad, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. So that's the value of using your mouse pad. But, um, and then you can make it a little bit bigger. The cool thing about this for me is I can like see, this is like a beast of a project. This is no joke, you guys. I can see, you can work on two pages at the same time. So you can make it close by doing this motion. You guys probably know how to do this already. With your mouse pad, or you can zoom out, whatever. Okay. Okay, so let me see what else there is. Now, if you wanted to do it, go to menus again. And there's all types. You can play around with this stuff, you guys. I just want to double check that it's going to automatically save. Mine automatically saves without me having to change anything. So you can, okay, I'm going to talk about save as in a little bit, but not right now. Because I'm going to show you the hot mess that happened to me when I started using save as. So um, go back to page layout. Then you can do no cover. See, it changes it a little bit. Um, now, if you go to the front, you would see that there's no cover there. It would um, not include the cover in the double pages, okay? So, yeah, Daisy, it's really cool. It's a really awesome thing. So, now, what you want to do, this makes it so you don't miss a stitch. You will never have to miss a stitch again unless it's your own fault. Struggle is real. Um, so, what you're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you. Hold on. i got to get navigation back up here. Let me go back to page nine. All right. All right, so I'm going to highlight some on page nine. I'm just gonna actually do a row even though I'm not stitching that because I wanna see about the saving situation. So let's say I had stitched all this. 
obviously I wouldn't have because I'm only going to stitch this orange part. Okay. Hey, Sheila. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click out of this. Hold on. Uh, oh, this is still in dry. Okay, so it's showing up as dry. Whatever. I'm going to click out of it. All right, I clicked out of it. I'm going to go back to my easy PDF. Let me just make sure that it was put in the right place. Oh, so it's not. Oopsie, another technical difficulty. Okay. Hmm. Oh look, they have Dropbox all up in here. Give me a second. Cause it should have been in there saved. All right, we're gonna try this one more again. Life of the parcher. <laughs> never a dull moment. Never, never, never. Oh, okay, so we were in drive. So let me try this again. Open up drive round two because it probably did not save that because hey Gloria yeah we're going live I mean we've been live for a long time but catch the replay I mean you're probably gonna have to watch it about a million times okay so let's do this let me just do something different real quick all right I'm gonna download it this is probably the small step that I missed because I'm ridiculous but it's okay once you pull down and see it downloaded, I'm going to click. Uh, hold on. Here we go. All right. Let me see if this fixes it. Then I'm going to show you what I did. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My life. Hot mess. Please work. Okay, let me try this again. Hey, Ken. Okay, so Loretta, um, none of the easy PDFs are going to be available on Android right now. If you have iPad, I can probably show you what it looks like, but um, if you have iPad, it's literally called Easy PDF Reader. Okay, Smart View or any of those other things are not what I'm working with. So I just want to make sure that you understand. Okay, so it already downloaded. Let's try this one more time. All right, but it's still showing up. Okay, let me actually do a Save As just one time. Which I'm actually going to do another video maybe sometime within the next week. And I'm going to show you... Um, Um, okay, whatever. It's going to save it. Let's see if it actually did now. Go back. Okay. Reset. All right. It saved it. So you don't want to do save as all the time because, as you can see, I made that lovely mistake. And I have like a million copies of this. Okay. You want to be able to get into mind docs, but honestly, my husband showed me how to do that and I'm going to have to figure it out one more time from him. So I will make another video about that, but let me just click. Whoops. Okay. Now. Okay. We're going to highlight this again and you can highlight from in the chart if you already know what thing you're looking for. I just want to see if it automatically saves this way or if there's another way. Because what I do, okay, I'm just going to pretend like I highlighted the whole thing. And you can still delete this afterwards. Okay. Now I'm going to click out of it real quick and see if it saved it. If not, it's not the end of the world, then there's something else I have to do, which I'll show you. Okay, it saved it. So you don't technically have to do any save ass once you do it the first time. What's supposed to happen? Here's the goal. 
the goal, which I said I'll have my husband teach me again and show you, is you want to, he did like some workaround thing. You want to be able to get it into my docs over here. But um, I wasn't able to figure out how to do that. And it has to do with something up in here. But it is what it is, my friend. So I hope this was helpful. I know I'm a hot mess, but you still love me, right? It's okay. Um, life goes on. Because I'm a hot mess, you know that your hot mess is not as much of a hot mess as my hot mess. So we can both be hot messes together, okay? So, you know, technology. Hmm. But this is an awesome thing. I love how I go about this. Hey, Louise. Hey, Roxanne. Um, this is like my most favorite thing ever. It makes things super simple in regards to extreme cross-stitching. I just sort my stuff, sort all the colors. I can see which color is the most. And then when I'm done with that color, Thanks, Judy. I received that. Thank you for your encouragement. It really helps me because I get kind of nervous before these videos because I feel like there's just so much I have to say. And so then I just like freak out and have anxiety about it. The struggle. But um, I do my best every single time. So um, you want to make sure that you sort all your colors. You find out which color is the most. You sort to figure out which color is the most. Mine technically was 400 something, 40,000 something stitches. Oh, thank you, Melinda. I received that. I'm so glad that you guys get something out of this, for sure. Um, you want to make sure you have you sort with the color at the most. Once you have that, you know, you have your chart and easy PDF reader, you're good to go. Like I said before, there's a bunch of different other type of readers and PDF thing, documents and, uh, not documents, um, programs and whatever you can get. But for me, easy PDF does everything I wanted to do. I've tried, like, Zoto and all these other things and, um, you know hot mess so they didn't really do what I wanted to do so it is what it is so that's um pretty much it oh thanks Catherine I'm glad and thank you Judy yes we are all learning together because whew, I mean I know this stuff but I'm always like looking for new ways to go about things and um it's been crazy cray so if this helped you definitely let me know I'd love to know that you guys are watching and this is helpful if you have any more questions please comment below like I said I don't delete pages or do any of that because I use the whole document and I stitch one page at a time but throughout the whole thing so it's all the same color on step on page one then page two then page three all the way you know whatever so yeah yay Ali you just hopped on and I'm about to get off but it's okay it's recorded so love you I hope you have an awesome stitchy night um, let me know if you have any other questions or anything, and I will try to let you know if Easy PDF gets back on, um, the Android store, again, hot mess. So when it's back on the, on the Play Store, I will definitely let you guys know. Aw, thanks, Judy. Um, so, the end. I'm gonna go drink some water, because, as you can tell, I'm getting the frog throat. So thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, holla at your girl. All right. Let me end this broadcast. Bye. Thanks for watching. Catch me. Um, catch me outside. How about that? Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, catch me. Catch me on next Friday. How about that? Okay. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern. You know, I have to add some humor to that. Um... <laughs> Okay. Bye, guys.